this is the best self order kiosk for sale for your small business. And when you do a side by side comparison to its competitors, for example, a square self order kiosk or a toast self order kiosk, this one blows it out the water because you do not have to pay any of the credit card processing fees associated with it. You can actually pass those credit card processing fees off to your customer so you don't have to pay them out of pocket. And in turn, that's going to save you a couple hundred and in some cases, a couple thousand dollars per month because you're not paying those fees. All right. So when your customers come into your store, this is the main screen that they're going to see. So they can either enter their phone number if they already have a pre-existing account or have ordered from you before, or they can actually join and they can actually give you their information or they can just check out as a guest. Um, so right now we're just going to check out as a guest and you can actually add pictures here. We actually didn't add them uh, just because we were a little short on time. But say, for example, our customer wants a burger. All they have to do is click on the burger button. And then here they can actually choose all of the burgers that you sell. Um, so, for example, our customer, they want a barbecue burger and then they actually don't want fries. So they can go ahead, hit the minus button. And then they can actually choose whatever fries they want. They can choose their sweet potato fries right there. And then we can actually choose our meat temperature, whether that's medium well all the way up to well done. Um, so we're going to choose medium rare here. And then we can actually go over to allergies just in case our customer has those allergies. We don't want to be liable, you know, say, you know, God forbid somebody goes to the hospital because we accidentally put peanut oil in 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 their food right so our customer has a peanut allergy so we're going to be super careful when we're actually preparing their food and then we can actually go to toppings here and this is where they're going to choose whether they want say tomatoes onions uh, they want cheese lettuce and that's all our customer wants in their burger now i don't know if you guys notice but you can actually charge extra depending on the topping that you want to give them or if you want to include all the toppings, you can actually change this $1 to a zero. Um, and that would be in the back end. And we can actually help you uh, with that as well. So that's all our customer wants. So we're actually going to add that to their cart. Now, if you notice, that's their total right there. And it, it's kind of similar to how a website works. All they have to do is go into their cart and check out kind of like they're on a website. So it's very intuitive for your customer to actually buy stuff. Um, and then they're going to confirm and they're going to give us their name. So their name is Chad. And then now they actually have to pay for that order. So here is cool because our customer can either pay with cash and the price for cash is $13.88 or they can pay a little bit more and pay with their card. So they can pay $14.44. And the reason why we do it this way is because that's how you're going to save all of that money in the credit card processing fees because your customer is paying the fees for you instead of you paying for them out of pocket. So say, for example, our customer wants to avoid the fee and pay with cash. So all they have to do is pay with cash. Go ahead and confirm that they want to pay with cash. And then this is actually their ticket. Um, since this is just a demo account, yeah, uh, order number is not going to pop up, but for you guys, when it's actually live, an order number is going to pop out, and then a ticket is going to print right here, and then it, it's going to have their order number, and all they're going to do is take this order number and then pay for their food with cash with the cashier. Now, for example, say they paid with a card, this is the receipt that they would see if they paid with a card, and right here is actually the non cash adjustment of. 56 cents so even though 56 cents doesn't sound like a lot of money after you're doing thousands of transactions every month you guys know that that money does add up to a couple hundred and sometimes a couple thousand dollars per month with the other self-ordering kiosk for sale for example the square or the toast self-order kiosk you do not have the option to set up the processing like this so you're kind of forced to pay for the credit card fees out of your own pocket. If you guys want to see the self-order kiosk live, I can actually FaceTime you or Zoom call you and we can get one on one where I can actually go over all of the different features that come along with this. And I can actually answer specific questions that you're going to have depending on whatever business you run, whether you're selling burgers, coffees or bikes like I have back here. So click on the link in the description below and we can actually schedule that call for you. So I'll see you guys over there. Peace.